What's going on guys? Lone Driver Mike again bringing you another video. Guys, what's up? Uh, we got some news going on. AB5 news. So I'm going to break this down the best I can and you guys can decide whether you want to support the bill or not. But whether you support it or not, it's pretty much passed already. The last step the last step they need to do is the governor of California, Gavin Newsom, that's the governor's name of California, uh, he's, all he's got to do is sign it. So I heard September 15th, somewhere around there is when he's supposed to sign it. And he already, he already agreed to sign it. He supports the bill and everyone in, in the government of California, they, they it got enough yeses and noes so it already got approved it already got voted in and so the last step is is uh, go, blah, blah, go, governor Newsom has to sign it and he already agreed to sign it so unless uber and lyft and doordash and uh, some of these other companies they all call each other up and say hey let's have a meeting Let, let's give the governor 10 million dollars for him to not sign it now that's a possibility because uh, um you know you, you look throughout history and you know a lot of times this is not covered in the news but you know in in back back doors uh, back secret rooms you know you got you got the uh, heads of the, the tobacco companies and the oil companies and the gas companies these big ass companies they control I mean they don't control everything but they have a lot of say in what goes on and what bills get passed and whatnot. And Uber and Lyft, they're pretty much like a monopoly, almost like a monopoly on, as far as like transportation, you know, picking, you know, the ride share uh, go, go, goes, you know, they're like a monopoly. You know, they own, you know, most, some taxis are out of business. Some, a lot of taxis went out of business in these past, however, you know, the past, what, eight years? Uber and Lyft have been around and everything, so they've Uber and Lyft they've put in uh, uh, taxi taxi companies and cab cab companies out of business just because they lowered the rates so much. People stopped using cabs. I mean, certain certain states they still use them. You know, like New York City and you know certain certain areas. Um, but yeah, a lot of cab companies and taxi companies they struggled and they had to go out of business, or they had to cut back so bad that they might have one or two drivers now for the whole you know city or the whole area where they're at you know what I mean so I don't know what's gonna happen but it's pretty much this bills passed so and that bill makes us employees that's plain and simple now whether or not you agree with that or not that's what that is AB5 make turns us from independent contractors to employees so now you know if you don't know what that means all you got to do is look up California law uh, you know what benefits do I get as an employee but there are some negatives too and people don't see the negatives right like if I were to clock in late at a regular job and if I got written up so many times I'd get fired over just just something kind of stupid, you know. I mean, not really stupid. You need to show up and and clock in and not be late and all that. But they have the right to do that now. From with before, it would it would be like, well, um, you know, I don't want to work today, or I want to start late today. You know what I mean? I'd want to, you know, like I just want to do a half shift or a split shift. Sometimes I'd work in the morning, then I'd go home sleep, and then I go back at night if we're an employee we can't do that we can't choose our hours we can't choose our schedules we can't choose what type of apps we want to turn on or to turn off we're gonna be controlled completely and people say well what about the benefits and I want the hourly wage and well yeah that's good and all but the benefits you only get benefits at a company when you're a full-time employee, which means you have to work 40 hours, 40 hours in the week. So now what is what is preventing Uber and Lyft and DoorDash and these other companies? What is preventing them from saying, you know what, Mike, or you know what, Jessica, you know what, Mark, you know what, Tom, you didn't qualify 
uh, you didn't accumulate enough points or deliveries or passengers or you didn't do enough rides over these last how many years you've been with us, you don't qualify to be a full-time employee with us. You just don't qualify. So you don't qualify for these guarantees or these benefits, medical, dental. You don't qualify for, for time off or, or sick leave or family pay, paid leave or whatever. You just don't qualify, right? Because like like at certain companies, like to be with a deck, uh, let's say Blue Diamond or, or Apple and stuff, before you could become an employee, a full-time employee of that company and to get benefits, you have to go through a temp agency. And you might get 40 hours a week, but you like write a contract saying you're just employ you're just a you're just a you are just a temp you're just a temporary worker for so for a certain amount of time and you don't get employ you don't get benefits, you don't get you don't get a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? So to be an employee of a company and to also get uh, full-time benefits or you know to get those benefits of working at a company like you, you might have retirement a medical dental a lot of stuff 401k maybe some stock option you might be able to get some stocks with the company um, maybe at a lower rate or free stocks or I don't know something of that effect you have to work full-time at a company that's the only time you qualify. So what is telling, what is preventing these companies from saying, you know what, Jessica, Erica, Mike, Jose, whoever your name is, you didn't qualify to be full time. You know, your rating's not good enough. So we're gonna set you at uh, part time, we're gonna put you at 20 hours a week and that's it. And during those 20 hours, you cannot do other apps because you are working for us we are paying you per hour or whatever and you will you'll be clocking in you'll be clocking out it's just like if you were to go to to work at a regular company you're an employee of that company you can't just go work there and say oh I want to work somewhere else right now no you go in you clock in you stay for those hours and then you clock out and depending on how many hours they give you you know like say you work I don't know five or six hours that day after two hours you got to get a break you know and they're gonna be strict on that they're gonna say okay Mike or you got to clock out exactly at two o'clock clock back in at uh, you know 215 and then you know and then also since we're employees we can't just decline certain you know us as independent contractors I love being an independent contractor because I have the right to decline any orders or any rides or any passengers or any dog walk if I don't want to do it I just decline it I'm like nah that's too far or I don't like this customer or the orders too small or the orders too far away or oh it's getting late I want to go home now I'm gonna decline it that is why I like to be my own boss and I that's why I like to be an independent contractor because I have the right to decline any order any passenger any ride I want to you know what I'm saying I have the right to do that and let's say you're picking up a passenger and you know since this is our vehicle our car and all that we have the right to refuse service because we're like not our own business but we are independent contractors we have the right to kick and refuse service it's just like any other business where it's like we're operating our own business you know what I mean but we're, if we're an employee you know we can't cancel this ride or that ride or if employee if if a, if a passenger gives us a hard time we can't just be like oh get out of our car there you know we're gonna get in trouble for kicking that person out of our vehicle you know I mean we can tell uber and Lyft well look this is what happened man he threw up in the car but then what if we don't have proof you know the people that don't have the little cameras on uh, in, in, in the in the front where, where you can check what's going on if you don't have a camera to prove that you know this the, the passenger said this and that then you're pretty much screwed you know what I'm saying he's gonna say well this passenger said that you try to kick him out of the car and blah 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 and you're an employee of, of us you were supposed to pick him up and drop him off at this address and you chose not to so you violated it's not gonna say violated the terms but you broke you know you broke the rules or, or whatever an employee you know you broke the rules or whatever you're gonna get written up and let's say, I don't know, three, three write-ups every month or two or three, 
then then they can just fire us. V very simple. We don't have that flex. We won't have that flexibility no more. To say, hey, you know what? I want to sleep in today, or hey, I want to do like ten hours today. I'm gonna do it. Most hours, most days, I put in twelve hours. Do you know why? Because I have that flexibility to do it. And also, let's say I don't want to do this app today, or you know, Uber Eats is like giving a good bonus, and DoorDash is like paying shit. I can say, oh, forget you, DoorDash. I can turn off DoorDash and do Uber Eats, or say Grubhub's paying out good so i'm like man i'm doing i'm gonna do grubhub you know and i'll multi-app i don't care you know what i'm saying i'll do a grubhub and a uber eats but now with this bill we won't be able to run multiple apps we'll be on a set schedule or or maybe a set amount of hours we can get every week or per day you know what i'm saying and then we might have some days where it's like well we can't work like uh you know it's too slow today you're gonna we're just gonna give you the day off you know what I'm saying? And that can happen too. Because we, the company will have all the power now. And people don't realize that. And so, that's what's, that's just what's going to happen. The only benefit is of being an employee is that we're going to get a per hour rate. And I don't know what that, I've heard $21. I've heard higher. I've heard lower. But I've heard $21. Okay, so that's not bad. But look at all the negatives that come along with it of being an actual employee. You can't sleep in, you can't start late, you can't start halfway in the shift. You know, if Uber and Lyft have you scheduled at seven in the morning and say you wanna like, well, I wanna work in the evening. They can say, no, this is your schedule now. This is when you have to work. This is what we have you lined up for. This is all we can, we can give you right now. You know, the system, whatever, blah, blah, blah you know other people have seniority over you that's how it's going to go and they're going to say no this is your schedule you can either do 4 a.m to like 10 in the morning we give you six hours you know the you know the uh airport rides and in the morning shift and that's how it's going to go and if you decline they say oh well we don't need your services we don't want we don't want to we don't want to hire you we don't want to work with you no more and that's it you're done all those years on uber or lyft just by you simply declining whatever hours they give you or what out whatever whatever shifts they give you they can fire you for that because they don't need you oh well we don't need you we have other employees you know and they just okay bye 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 and they're gonna find all the employ all the people that are like okay yeah I'll do it whatever let's do it whatever fine you know they might limit us to like four hours a day or yeah four hours a day or five hours a day just the bare minimum so they don't have to pay us like the extra benefits or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because to get benefits, we have to be, like I said, full-time employees. We have to get 40 hours a week. So, and like I said, Uber and Lyft, they don't have to do anything. This bill is just going to turn us from independent contractor to employees. And under California law, we only get certain benefits only when we're doing 40 hours a week. So if Uber and Lyft and DoorDash, they don't give us 40 hours a week, we don't get those benefits. We might get the $21 an hour still, but whether we're employees, full-time or part-time, we, we will have no more freedoms no more. Let's say you're on the schedule for Friday and you call up Uber. Well, I want to take today off. Uh, you know, my mom died or I don't know. I want to go to the beach today. See, that's why I love being an independent contractor. I love my freedom to do anything I want to, to work any damn time I want to. Now, who doesn't love that? I understand there's some hours that are slow or busy or I understand, but there are 24 hours in the day to make money. There's no excuse. How many apps are out there to make money? I got Uber, Lyft, Grubhub, Caviar, DoorDash, Uber Eats, WAG. I can even sign up for Instacart. I can even sign up for Amazon Flex. There's some other ones that are that are popping up that I haven't even that I'm just hearing about. GoPuff. There's another one called Favor. Uh, there's just so many apps that you can get onto. So all these people that complained. 
you know, you're going to regret it because now we're not going to have those freedoms no more. The money is great. No, I, I love money and I need to pay my bills. We all need to pay bills, but don't you like the freedom to like sleep in or just take the whole, I took six days off this last week. Was that a smart idea? Well, you know what? I paid all my bills and I wanted to relax for the whole week. Now, if I'm an employee, I can't do that. I can't just be like, hey, I'm going to take the whole week off. Now, unless you're a full-time employee and Uber and, or Lyft or one of those apps, they decide to give you a full-time 40 hours a week. And if they liked you that much, which these companies are not going to do that. Most people, they're going to give most people part-time work, part-time hours, part-time. Instead of 40, we're going to get half of that. We're going to get 20 hours Maybe even less than that. They might say, oh, uh, we'll give you 10 hours a week. That's it. You don't get no benefits. Uh, you get 20 bucks an hour. That's it. You know. So then after we get $200 a week off Uber, uh, they're going to take out taxes and all that. So, you know, we might get $150 a week. You know. I mean, we might be able to do Lyft too. But then they'd only give us like so many hours. So it's like you might as well just go work at McDonald's at that point. I mean, unless unless we're getting twenty over, if we're getting like twenty five dollars an hour, that's not bad. But you you'd want to put in forty hours. But that doesn't mean Uber and Lyft they're going to give us forty hours. And then let's say we can do uh, stay with Uber, but they give us like only so many hours. But then you want to get on with Lyft, and they're like, well, here here are the hours you can get. But then it's conflicting with Uber, and you know you can't run both at the same time. So it's not going to be that easy to run multiple apps and and get all these hours and put in like eight hours a day or more it's not going to be that easy it's not going to be easy at all it's going to be very difficult and not only that uber and lyft they can call each other up hey do you know this guy uh named mike does he work for you or they might have a sign a uh, non-complete non-compete clause where it says if you work for us you can't work for uber Uber might say, oh, you can work for us, but you can't work for Lyft. So you can't even multi-app. And the food apps might do the same thing. Grubhub and DoorDash, they might say, they might call each other up. Do you know this guy, social security number, boop, 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 boop. They have our information. You don't think they can call each other? Hey, do you have this guy named Mike? This is his social security number. Oh, yeah, we're giving him 20 hours a week. Well, we're giving him 20 hours a week, too. Oh, well, okay, well, are we going to fire him or you want to fire him? Well, you know. You see what I'm saying? So, and then the food companies just might call Uber and Lyft and be like, hey, is this guy working for you? Believe me, all it takes is a phone call. And they might all tell us you can't do multiple apps and, you know, they're going to rat each other out. And that might happen. So, I don't think multiple apps, us running multiple apps is gonna even going to happen. Because they can just call each other up. Look at look look at our social security number. Your social security number is anyone can run your social security number and figure out exactly who you're working for, how's your medical re record, uh, you know, if you've been arrested, all that kind of stuff. So, and now that we're employees, they have the right to look that up and, you know, I, all I know is it's not going to be good. You know, the benefits, we got to work 40 hours. And they're probably not going to give us 40 hours. And then they're probably going to ha have a sign of things saying, you want to work for us? You have to pledge yourself to us. You can't work for these other apps, blah, blah, blah. And let's say, you know, and if they catch you, blah, 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 they can fire you. And then the other app that you work for, they're going to fire you. And then you have no apps to work for. Everyone's going to fire you. Oh, nope, nope, nope. You, you, you violated our terms. You violated our terms, blah, blah, blah. And then they all fire you. Then you can't do Uber or Lyft or DoorDash, Grubhub. You know, they're all going to end up, you know, coming together somehow, screwing all, screwing us. Because we're screwing them, now they're going to screw us even harder. We're not going to have no freedoms. Uh, our independent contractor, uh, our freedoms like that, we're not going to be able to get up anytime, work anytime, work anywhere. We're going to be on a set schedule, set hours. Um, we're got to sign a, sign a non-completion, com, whatever it's called, act, where we can't work for multiple apps. And it's just not going to be good. So, 
there are a lot of videos out there. There's a guy named Uber Uber Hints, Uber Hints, I think, and he he explains it pretty damn good. Um, and then another guy called Rides Rides Share Professor. He's actually for the bill, but a lot of things he's saying, it's just a bunch of bullshit that that the politicians are telling them. And you know, it's like I like my freedom, man. You know what I mean? And so, how is this take? How is taking away my freedom, taking away when I can work anytime, anywhere, running multiple apps? How is this going to help? And the benefits, we only get benefits if they decide to give us 40 hours. If they say, you know what, no one is getting full time, no one's getting benefits. They can put their foot down. They are the employee now, or the employer. They are the employer. They can give you any hours they want to. And you guys are not you guys are not understanding that. There is going to be no law saying you must give uh this person Mark or or Steve. There is no law that's going to say you must give Steve 40 hours a week. There's that law AB5 does not say that. AB5 says it's going to be independent contractors now we're employees. That's pretty much it. And then they're going to set, I think, a per hour rate. And that's it. That's it. But it doesn't say nothing about they have to give us overtime. They have to give us full-time work, full-time hours where it's 40 hours a week. There is nothing in that bill that says that. So Uber and Lyft, they control us now. They really control us now. And see, that's what you guys don't think about. Now... They can do whatever the fuck they want. They can fire us. January 1st, 2020, they might fire mostly everybody off or a good chunk of people. Say, you didn't qualify. Your rating's not high enough for you, for you to work for us. You know, you're not a 4.9, um, you're not a 4.9 driver. You know, Uber, Lyft, Grubhub say, oh no, sorry, you, you didn't make the cut. I'm sorry, we're not going to hire you. Good luck. And, you know, and you might have one app that doesn't fire you and all these other apps that say Lyft fires you or Uber fires you, Grubhub, let's say, you know, whatever. Let's say DoorDash, you know, is your last app. Everyone else fired you, but DoorDash is your last app. And what are you going to do? And they say, oh, well, we can only give you 20 hours a week. So what are you going to do at that point? Are you going to just accept that 20 hours a week times, you know, and then you have to get another job. If you can't survive, you can't pay your bills. They're going to take out taxes and all that. And then if you owe the government, uh, state government or federal government, they're going to take it out. They're going to take even more money out of your check. You don't think they're going to do that? Um, because as independent contractors, they don't pull nothing out of our checks, guys. So if you owe anything, that's your responsibility to pay that. So... Everyone has to pay their bills, but I'm just saying now that we're employees, Uncle Sam's going to be taking out our money, state taxes, federal taxes. We're going to be limited on hours. We're going to be limited on how many apps we can run. Most likely, we're just going to run, we're going to only be able to want, run one app. And they might be leaning and say, you know what? You know what? You know, work for us 20 hours a week. But if they catch you running other apps at the same time, you're done. The You know? it's it's not going to be good so anyways i'm going to put uh rideshare professors uh link down below and uber 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 hints links below because they were explaining how this bill is going to either help us or harm us and you guys can make your own decisions but i'm telling you right now there are going to be more negatives than positives and um I'm not going to say any names, but it's it's just not going to be good. You know, I made a video about this two months ago. I was a little bit emotional, but I did make some interesting points. I'm a little bit more calm now, but, you know. But anyways, whether you support it or not, this bill is going to be signed into law. It's already passed the House, the Senate, whatever, California, the, the, the state government. It, they already passed it. The governor has to sign it. That's the last step. But he already agreed to sign it. Unless Uber and Lyft, they call him up, hey, you want $10 million? Just don't sign that bill. Throw it away. They can do that. They have the power to do that. You know? 
Now there's like uh I'm not gonna get into politics too much, but too much, but there's a law now they're trying you know the government's trying to ban e-cigarettes like um electric cigarettes like uh vaping and stuff. They're gonna they're gonna try to ban that, but they're not gonna try to ban tobacco. Now why is that? Hmm. Doesn't make no sense because in my opinion, I think cigarettes kill more than people that vape and smoke, you know, vape and e-cigarettes and electro electronic cigarettes. So so why are they banning e-cigarettes but not tobacco? Why are they banning e-cigarettes and vaping but not alcohol? Alcohol deaths kill thousands a year. Cigarettes, thousands a year. Vaping, I'm sure there's been some deaths, but not that many. I, not that I can think of. I haven't heard of no uh, death from vaping. You know what I mean? So all I'm saying is Uber and Lyft, they do have a lot of power. They're going to try to fight this. And they might even try to the bribe um, the governor of California, Gavin Newsom. I, I mean, who knows? We don't know what's going to happen. But if he signs up, Bill, it's going to go into law. And starting January 1st, 2020, um, we're going to be employees. So I could be right. I could be wrong about what I'm saying. But I'm just stating my, my case and what I think is going to happen. You can look at Right Sheriff Professor if you agree with AB5. He, he, he agrees with it. I'm against it. And Uber, Uber hints he's against it too. So I'm going to put those links below. And uh, I don't want no drama or no fighting. But you know what? These kind of videos need to be talked about. Because, you know, you can be on this side of the aisle. You can be on that side of the aisle. But you got to state the facts of what's going to happen. Of what could happen and what could not happen. And don't claim you know exactly what's going to happen. Because you don't. You know what I'm saying? I'm claiming what could happen. You know? I'm claiming the benefits... And uh, the negatives. So that's what I'm claiming and what could happen. So, you know what? It's up to you. And it's up to Uber and Lyft what they're going to do. Because they have the power, man. They say, and I say, oh, we have the power now. No, that bill, all it does is make us from independent contractor to employees. Now, it's up to Uber and Lyft to decide what they're going to do. Are they going to lay us all off? Are they going to make us full-time employees and do the right thing and cough up the extra money? I highly doubt that. You think they're going to do that? They're going. To, you think they're going to make Lyft say there's 350,000 Lyft drivers in California? You think they're going to make 350,000, almost half a million um, rideshare drivers out there in California? Do you think they're going to make all of us full-time employees? I don't think so. I don't think so. So those benefits that they're talking about, we're not going to get them. We're not going to get those benefits. So they're going to limit our hours, when we can work, when we can't work, how many hours a day we can work. They're going to limit when we can get online, get offline, clock in, clock out. And they're gonna, we're going to have write-ups. We, we miss clocking in, clocking out. We're going to get written up. Um, it's going to be strict. So... All, all that freedom that we have now, it's going to go out the door. It's it's gone. It's going to be gone. January 1st, 2020. That freedom's gone. I could be wrong, but once you're an employee, you're not free. You're pretty much a slave. So to the, to the people that think we were a slave now, we have a lot of freedom. I can wake up late. I can, I, like I said, I took six days off. I didn't get in trouble. Uber, Lyft, Grubhub, Caviar, DoorDash, Wag, they didn't call me up. They didn't say, what's wrong, Mike? You missed work. They don't care because we're independent contractors. We can work anytime, anywhere. I can go to a different city. I go to San Francisco, Los Angeles. But with this bill, we won't be able to do that. We'll have a set schedule, set hours. We'll be more slaves than we are already now. So that's all I've got to say. So I'm going to put the links below. You make a decision. You decide whether you think this is a good idea or not. This is a really bad idea in my opinion. But like I said, that's just my opinion. And you know what? I'm not here to fight with nobody. But I speak from the heart. I'm not fake. 
uh, Uber, Uber, Uber hand said, you know, ride share, blah, blah, blah. ride share professor was fake. He was saying a lot of bullshit. He was lying about something. So I didn't get into it too much. I may go back and look about what he was talking about, but yeah, I, when I looked at ride, uh, when I looked at, uh, Uber, Uber Hint's videos, he was genuine about it. And he knew, he sounded like he knew exactly what the hell he was talking about. He was talking about unions and how they form and, and, and what employee means and, and full-time benefits versus if you're part-time, you don't get benefits. It sounded like he knew exactly what the hell he was talking about. And Rideshare Professor, it seemed like he was just spitting out whatever the hell that one politician told him to, to say. And, uh, and it's just like, Dude, you're supposed to think from the heart. You're supposed to, you know what I'm saying? Do your own research and, and you know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. I, I'm not going to bash nobody, but I'll let you guys make that decision. And uh, I really hope you guys support my channel. I'm sorry I haven't been on lately. I've had a lot going on, but I'm going to start cranking out more videos. And uh, I really, I really support, I'm really, I'm really appreciative of your guys' support. And like I said, I've just had a lot going on. But like I said... Please uh, support my channel by subscribing, liking the video, commenting below, and sharing. And also, I'm going to put those links below. You check out those other channels and you tell me who's fake or who's real or which side you're with. Are you with AB5 or are you against it? And I'm very curious. I want to hear your guys' arguments and your reasons why. I just, I want to know. I want to know what you guys think. I mean, seriously. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Share this video. We need to get the word out. Whether you support the bill or not, we need to get the word out about this. So coming January 1st, 2020, if shit hits the fan, we have a backup plan. I don't want us, I don't want nobody becoming homeless. I don't want no one losing their house um, or losing money or income. We need to be prepared. And that's that's in the story because in the end, we're all on the same team. We all want to succeed and make more money. But if this bill is going to hurt us, we got to have us, we got to have a backup plan. That's all I'm saying. We got to support each other. We got to help each other out. Um, so like I said, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. And that's it, guys. That's all I've got to say. I wish you guys the best. I'll be making a video tomorrow. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I've got to say. All right, guys. Thank you so much for your support. And that's it. Guys, have a good night. Peace out. And that's it. All right, guys. See you.